It's not easy to be a marketing agency right now. Budgets are tight, decisions are taking even longer than before, good people are getting harder to keep and find. Agencies that are succeeding must be doing something right. Recently here at Sway Health, we learned that the team at Reason One got onto the Inc. 5000 list of private companies. So we just had to find out more. Joining me on the program today is Ben Cash, CEO at Reason One. We're going to talk about what it means to be on that Inc. 5000 list. Let's get to it. Ben, welcome back to Sway Health. It's great to have you. Oh, it's so great to be here. Uh, it was so great to see you in person in Atlanta. Such a great uh, conference. Uh, still still have the feels, as it were. Uh -huh. Well, thank you very much for saying that. And it was wonderful to be able to host you and everyone else in Atlanta. Thank you for coming. But Ben, I'm excited to sit down with you today because you have got recently got some exciting news or, or basically exciting designation. You and the team yeah. at Reason One got on the Inc. 5000 private companies list. Congratulations to that. Thanks. Thanks. Sure, appreciate that. Like, what's, what's the criteria to actually get on that list? It's pretty simple. It's just year over year revenue growth. So you got to be growing. Um you know, we applied um, uh, and we just send them our financials, you know, like past couple of years. And, you know, they assess whether that revenue growth year over year growth is competitive against, you know, the top 5,000. And so luckily we we made the cut. Yeah, you, you make it so nonchalant sounding. Oh, yeah, we, we just, you know, it's the top growing companies year over year in revenue. <laughs> top 5,000 only. Yeah, big deal. No, that's <laughs> that's. That's significant, man. That means that means you are growing, and because there, there weren't a lot of uh, marketing agencies on that list, I went through not all five thousand, but I went through quite a number uh -huh. of them. Didn't notice a lot of agencies, let alone healthcare marketing agencies. So, so how has Reason One been so successful? Oh, uh, good question. Um, yeah, you know, I think I think there's there's two main things that are. I mean, obviously, there's a lot. There's many factors, right? But if I had to, if I had to narrow it down to two things, I'm thinking the first is our healthcare focus, right? Um, you know, a lot of agencies, a lot of companies will use horizontal positioning, right? Meaning they're going to work with any industry, any vertical, right? And we've doubled down on vertical positioning, which means we go deep into one vertical, i.e., healthcare, right? Um, and, and within that, I think what that has allowed us to do is I think of three things for us is one is it's allowed us to build expertise, um, because, you know, our colleagues aren't having to learn a lot of different industries and everything is totally new. We can really focus in on healthcare training. Uh, our, our team gets to work on multiple healthcare projects and really become experts for our clients. Right. And that expertise translates to long relationships and, and, and good outcomes. Um, and I think it also for us, um, you know, growth obviously comes from closing new business, right? And so, uh, and, and, and sustaining those accounts. And I think it allows us to not just like a lot of agencies deliver with the A team, sorry, uh, pitch with the A team and deliver with the B team as it were, right? We're one and the same, right? Um, I think the second thing in within our vertical focus that has really helped our growth is building community. A lot of agencies try to be all things to all clients, right? There's a, there's a lot of that going around. It's, it's, and it's fine. It's a business model and it, and it can work, right? But it's, you know, jack of all trades. It's, yada, you know, yada, yada. Um, and we know what we do well and digital is what we do well, right? And we focus on that and try to be the best digital agency we can. And so as a result, to be more full service, we have built allegiances and partnerships with other specialized agencies. And that helps us produce better work, but it also helps us build more referrals and more opportunities and things because of that network, right? And that's that has helped us grow at a time when I think some agencies have struggled to grow. Um, and then the last thing I would say is, uh, I think we've had a good track record of long-term engagements with our clients because we produce outcomes. And I think maybe, 
80% of our revenue comes from existing clients. And that really creates a lot of financial stability, right? If you're chasing the next thing, it, it just it makes for the old roller coaster. So keeping our clients happy with the long term means financial stability. Um, and the last thing I would say uh, is our status as a B Corp, I think, has made a real difference for us. Um, we use our business as a force for good. It's part of a larger global movement um, where we uh, measure our success by the triple bottom line, profit, people, and the planet. Um, and, you know, it, it's sort of, it, it's, there were, there were things that we were already doing, certain values and operational principles that we brought into place, but the, the, the being a B Corp and achieving that status, because you have to apply and it's very difficult to, to get that status. It's really a framework you would, you would adhere to a framework of standards and practices, right. And values. Kudos for 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 achieving the designation. Thank you. Uh, and you, you talk about being focused in healthcare. I think uh, maybe two decades ago, it was probably true that healthcare was a very stable industry, always growing. Yeah. You know, very level. It, it was the industry that weathered recessions and and so forth. You always heard about that. People always need healthcare. But in the last five years, healthcare has been extremely volatile. I mean, you've experienced that firsthand, right? Very Budgets have so. grown and shrunk. We've gone through a pandemic. It has not been easy to be in the healthcare industry. So the fact that you have grown despite the volatility in healthcare, yeah. that does speak to a lot of things that you're just talking about in terms of loyalty, in terms of referrals, yeah. in terms of doing good focused work. So yeah. kudos. Thanks. Well, I mean, I think I, we saw that as an opportunity right? Uh, anytime there's change and people need to navigate change, uh, there's an opportunity, right? Even as AI is going to disrupt things even more, especially in technology, humans still need guidance and support and strategy and governance. And, and I think that's some of the things that have you know, helped us in our partnerships. So Ben, what does this designation or, and being on the list mean for Reason One staff? Oh, gosh. Um, I, I think it's a validation, obviously, for their hard work and the, the outcomes they work for with, their, with clients. Um, it also, you know, uh, brass tacks, uh, better financial stability means job security, more equitable pay, work-life balance. Um, and, you know, probably sometimes it's just as simple as being on a winning team, right? You want to be growing and winning. And and, uh, and I think it's just, it's exciting. It's, it's, it's exciting to be part of uh, a B Corp that uses his business as a force for good, but also can be successful. Yeah, I, I, I can't agree with you more. I think there is a definite correlation between growth, uh, especially at smaller organizations. I'm not talking about mega corps, right? But growth right. at a small company means that you have to have a good team and you have to yeah. treat them well, because if you don't, you won't grow. It's just, it, it's, oh, it's very linear, right? So, right? so it is almost like a surrogate measure. If your revenues are growing, Maybe you got lucky one year, but to do it over a number of years, uh, yeah. that means that, you know, you, you have that kind of team camaraderie, you have that support system for your employees. So, um, yeah, that's a, that's a great thing. So so as the leader uh, of Reason One, what advice would you give to a fellow leader of a privately held company that wants to grow quickly? Yeah, Um you know, if you'd asked me five years ago before we started this vertical focus, I would have had a very different answer. But right now, I would say it's narrow your focus and truly understand the needs and challenges of an industry, right? Become an expert. Um, there's a phrase that I, uh, I, I love that I put up on my wall in my office that's, that says, your job is to create future value for your clients and therefore yourself. I don't know who it's attributed to, but I just, I love it. It's, it just it encapsulates that concept. So Ben, what, what's next for reason one? Now that you've gotten on the list, you're, you're growing, what's next? Huh, well, um, you know, our vertical focus is in the health sector. And I think where we started was with health systems, right? There's so much change happening in, in health systems. And right, as you said, and I think that's where we saw the most opportunity to, to really move things forward. But, you know, we've also over the years worked with um, associations and nonprofits, you know, medical associations, professional associations, uh, research nonprofits, um, any number of organizations. And we, and what we realized it, to make an impact in the health sector, we really need to look at the whole picture and all the different players that go to creating more accessible and uh, equitable health care, right? So that's sort of what's next for us is really leaning into our experience in those verticals like other sub verticals, I should say, like we have with health systems and really round out our impact in the sector. 
And and how does being a B Corp factor into that? Like you're talking about earlier that, it, you know, it's very hard to get that designation. It does guide, you know, your operating procedures. How does that manifest and in, in, into what's next for, for reason one? Yeah, I, you know, I, I think it informs how we show up, right? And what the investments are that we make. And again, the triple bottom line, profit, people, and planet. So, you know, if we can, you know, to your, to your point about, great people make for a great company, right? Um, we know that if, if we invest in our people, they will take care of our clients, right? And so um, we there's a lot of practices and things that we put in place to engineer our business for work-life balance, for equitable compensation, um, and to put our people first, right? Um, we also, you know, one of the things that that I think aligns with B Corp values and our work in the healthcare sector is we believe the web is for everyone, right? So accessibility is not just like a compliance issue. It's an ethical issue for us. And it ultimately increases your audiences. Uh, it grows, you know, it increases patient acquisition. And so it's one of those things that's good values and good for business as it, as it were. Um, and then we also invest in our communities, uh, you know, and we also invest in our industry. For example, the tech industry has uh, notoriously been, um, uh, have a lot of inequity in it. And so we started four years ago, started a, a scholarship and mentorship uh, program for black youth uh, to really help correct that. And so, so in essence, being a B Corp helps uh, inform how we show up and where we put our, spend our profits and our time. And you shared a lot of great information with us today. Where can people go to learn more about Reason One? Sure. Um, our website, Reason One Inc. That's inc.com. Uh, you can also find us on LinkedIn. Perfect. Well, Ben, thank you so much for being on the program today. Oh, thank you so much, Colin. It's great to talk with you. Hey, I want to thank Ben for being willing to come on camera and talk about being on the Think 5000 list of private companies. It's so interesting to hear him talk about the strategic advantage of specialization. I hear, just like you do, the rumblings that more and more healthcare organizations want a one-stop shop. But the reality seems to be that we need both generalists and specialty agencies in healthcare. And hey, if you enjoyed this interview, please like and subscribe. Also, head on over to Sway Health, that's Sway with two A's, dot health, where you can find more great content like this. I'm Colin Hung. Thanks for being here, and I'll catch you on the next episode. <laughs> <laughs>